Hello and welcome back to the Alpha 21 Survival Guide. Today, we are going to be completing Tier 4 for Trader Bob, and then when he gives us Tier 5 jobs, we're gonna do them, Damn it! We are still in B317 because the fun pimps have decided that almost two weeks without an update to an experimental branch of the game, which breaks half of the game's progression, is fine. So we're just going to have to do it without the update. Hopefully at some point in this series, we can do a tier 5 and show the actual rewards for a tier 5. In the meantime, we're just going to have to live with the pain. And I'm going to fly over to this job since I have nothing in my inventory to stop me this time. This is a much more graceful landing than the other times. Are you enjoying yourself, Arlene? Oh, don't let me interrupt you. Okay, right, let's start this PY. This is the one I wandered into a while ago and kind of just got swarmed. <laughs> oh, did I wake up the end loot guys again? Every time I do this. Spears are quite good. You can make a machete. I wonder if it's worth actually making one since you always need a knife, basically. A level 3 compound crossbow. Is that good loot? Is that allowed? I mean... We are going a little bit into agility. It might not be the worst idea to have a stealth weapon. Some books. A book about crossbows. And some medicine. You hold still. Also, I'm low on scrap polymers, and these give a lot. Oh, I actually got a blood bag from that. Cool. Oh good, the only food pile I found has no food in it. Just seven days to die, things. That was an incredibly easy tier 4 compared to the ones we did in the last episode. So note to self, the checkpoint, very very easy. You something you like? Yep. Quests are definitely still terrible. I, um, I don't even know what to take. I guess Forge Steel, but I can make my own. Let's see, has an infested clear at tier 4? Absolutely not happening. <laughs> Friend, I mean, no matter what. We saw what happened in the infested clears at tier 3 yesterday. That doesn't sound like a good idea. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so we need to do 3 more. I think I'm gonna just drive there, because taking the gyrocopter when it's not actually that far kind of just wastes your time. Oh, it's this place. I can play Pistol Pete, nice. Okay. So this is going to be one of the tier 4s that's really mean. God it. Did I bring the explosives with me? A few ferals, regular zombies, and then we come in here and it's like radiated bikers, radiated lumberjacks. Whoa. That laser sight's definitely on my to-do list. Maybe even a retracting stock if I can put it on this. I'm going to have to get more ammo out of my truck, aren't I? Oh, it's the library room. Oh, they made it different. There's more bookshelves. There's also more ways to get punched in the face. That's definitely got something hiding behind it. Yeah, pre-damaged bookshelf is very suspicious. Can I 
thought I heard you. Even with all my armor on insane difficulty, these guys absolutely shred me. Come on, Supercharger mod. You're giving me all these other vehicle schematics. And you're not giving me that. Ooh, anything of interest out here? A level 6 pistol. Not bad. Was this new? Was this here before? <laughs> Could you do this? I don't remember. Oh, a weapons back. I guess we'll go down a little bit. This feels like the unnecessarily dangerous way to do this. Ah. The way out if I need it. I think I actually might have missed some zombies up there because I skipped a room. So we will find out <laughs> when we're down here and it says, oh, you have to go all the way back up. Sorry. Well, this is different. Okay. Caution time. Shush. Shush. Die quietly. This is also different. There's a flame room. Let me guess. There's... Yeah. I mean, you can try and sneak up on them. My stealth is very bad, though. Switch that off. And then green to green. Anything useful in the water? Or is that just in case you fall? We got the green key. And then yellow. Or did, what's the trap here? Hmm? That would be the trap here. Ow. I don't think that, that hit was very fair. Right, well, I'm hoping that door isn't automatic. Can walk along here and scout for zombies. Oh, you're giving me health and ammo and everything. Why is this here? Is this like a I turn it on with that? Did I turn it off? What happens if you just break the pipe? Yeah, that that makes sense. Ow! Click the switch. Pop up here. Did they just come running? Yeah, this is going to be a really awful PY on Insane Nightmare. Where's the other? Oh, hey! Uh oh, they made the final room absolutely easy! Never mind. They made it so that you can't run away as easily, but they put like three zombies in it. Maybe they made it a more reasonable challenge and then forced you to fight it. Which I suppose is fair. And that's my way out, is it? Supercharger mod schematic, nice. I think that makes you move like 10% faster if you put it on your vehicle. And has this been moved so that you can't dig to it from the surface then? No, it's still there. What does the other ladder lead to then? We'll have to find that out. Steel club. Meh. Very meh loot. <laughs> Nothing. Right, so that leads to the surface like it used to. So what does this lead to? Is the way back to halfway through the POI? I, I don't know what that's useful for, but okay. That wasn't so bad. Just a couple of really difficult zombies at the start. Okay, let's head back to Trader Bob. All prices are fair here. Yep, for a tier four. See what I mean? I guess I'll take the crafting skill magazine. Right, so tier these. Oh, good, he has fetches as well. That'll make it very easy. You. You're damn right I'm going to cheese them. I'm trying to unlock tier 5 so we can have some entertainment. Very bored. Done everything. Well, almost. I have all the items I could need. I just need level 6 versions of them. I have the auger and the chainsaw at home. Make pretty much anything I want to make. So the only real interest in this series now is just going to be the tier 5 POIs. Alright, how can I cheese this in the most cheesy way possible? So on the ground floor, there's probably going to be a fight on the way in. Howdy. That was just, just there, huh? Close the door behind me. I don't need to fight them. See, way faster than doing a tier 4. <laughs> Here we go. Howdy. Mm. Meh. 
and then do another tier 3 fetch. Okay, so it's below us, so I'm guessing it's... So I'm guessing it's going to be in the tunnel that leads up to this final loot room here. Can I break into this from, like, the ceiling? I mean, it's no more efficient to do it that way. Is there not a bookcase in here, by the way? Alright, let's just bash in the stone, then. Okay, so is it down here, then, I'm guessing? Yeah, we'll fight the final horde room here. Ow. That was unneeded. Yeah, follow me up the stairs. Go ahead. Why am I bleeding? Ugh. First aid kit. I really, re like, refuse to just accept that. I'm just bleeding for no apparent reason. I got hit, like, once. Uh-oh. Run away, drone. Gonna pop. Yeah, oh, we're gonna get hit again. That had another damn concussion. Oh no, just a stun. No harm done then. First aid kit's still in effect. Still a lot quicker and easier than an actual tier 4 though. Did it. Great job, traveler. And then one more. Uh, he doesn't have a, have a it's rare to fetch, so I'll do a clear. Crash. Right, as fast as I can. Oh, again with the bleeding. First aid kit again. Ah, why did I walk right into a concussion? Oh, that was close. First aid kit, kick in, please. Now, that sucks. I have antibiotics in my car, at least. A two hour long abrasion, why? Why is that happening? That is new. I'm not going to make it back to Trader Bob's in time for him closing anyway, so I'll grab the loot from here. I think what I'm going to do in the middle of the night is fly home and see if I can make some improvements to my sniper rifle to make it a bit more CQB friendly, you know? It's not doing bad per se, but it could be doing better. It's more in its Horde Knight configuration right now. I could make a second one and I keep them both on me. I got all my stuff in my inventory here just, and I'm going to fly home and see if I can make some tweaks or get a new sniper rifle to go along with this one. They're going to be a bit more friendly to those big tier 5 POIs because my hip fire accuracy, don't know if you've noticed, shaky at best. And you saw how close I came to dying in just that tier 3 because of it, so yeah. Tier 5s should not be messed around with. Alright, as usual I'm going to sort my inventory, which always takes forever. What I do collectors are almost done, and then I'm going to see what I can craft help myself out here a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we need to check is can I even make anything that would be useful? So we can't make a laser sight, can't make a foregrip, and we can make a retracting stock mod. That's something. Um, Let's see what other mods I can make. Well, if we can't do a proper hip fire sniper rifle, then I can still make a close range sniper rifle just by getting a reflex sight a magazine extender and a bipod. So we've got the reflex site already. Do I need a bipod? And you know what? That cripple -a mod would probably be really good because it gives you a chance to cripple legs, which which eliminates quite a lot of the problems that some of the zombies who are punching my head off are causing. So if I make myself a bipod, mechanical parts, rings, glue, like that, and then I need a sniper rifle, like a backup one. Uh, let's see, rifle parts, forged steel, bunch of duct tape. I have four duct tape there, 45, glue, and I have glue in the chemistry stations, right? Or one of them. There we go. Let's make 46 duct tape. There are benefits to having so very many water collectors anyway. Yeah, that'll do fine. We can have those water collectors while we wait for the duct tape to craft. How are the do collectors doing? Okay, they're full. Let's gather this up. A couple of them weren't full, but that's fine. The water box is now even more heavily filled with water. iPod mod. 
So the bipod mod makes it so that it, when you aim down sights, the crosshairs will close to an accurate position faster. Since we're not able to do the hip fire equivalent, it makes sense to chuck a reflex sight and a bipod on so that they will close as quickly as I can get them to. So there's the sniper rifle crafting. Let me put my gear away. While I wait for the sniper rifle to craft, I'm going to take some coffee and rock busters out. Where are my rock busters? And where's some coffee? Looks like I'm out of coffee. Oh, wait, no. You have my coffee and some coffee. And I'm just going to mine some resources because I haven't done it in a while and Horde Night's coming up, so we will need to repair afterwards. So I'll just go away for the seven minutes that Rifle is doing that and gather up what I can. Okay, so I got a skill point in there while I was fending off a little wandering horde. Can I get the first useful rank of parkour? I can. I can even get the next rank if I want. That makes it so that I can jump two meters. See? Quite a big jump. It's very, very useful in tier fives, which is why I wanted it before we actually did any tier fives. And my sniper rifle is close to being built. I got two stacks of iron and a little bit of stone, of course. Just to throw that in my forges, so I've got some forged steel to repair the base after Horde Knight. Let me not use that. I've got some coal. Right, sniper rifle. Two seconds. Come on. There we go. So which one actually has the better roll? Because they have variable statistics. So you've got 101 and you've got 104. So I want my main combat one to be the one with the best stats. So we're going to take the Cripplum mod, the Reflex sight, and the Bipod. Or maybe I should put the magazine on it. Hmm. Nah, I'll, I'll wait until I get a level 6 one to put the magazine on, and then this longer ranged one can keep the magazine extender. So when there's long range engagements, I have this, and when there's close range, I have this. I am really thinking maybe I should put the magazine extender on that and cripple the zombies at longer range with the cripple and mod. That feels smarter. Because this is basically a very weird shotgun, so more ammo makes sense. Right, let's take the gyrocopter and head back up to Trader Bob and get started on doing some of his tier 5. Oh, right, here we are. Here we have great prices. Those are not befitting a tier 4 job, I'm gonna be honest with you. And there's the tier 4 complete sniper rifle bundle. On the off chance it gives me a level 6, I will take it. You'll tell me if I'm Trader Hugh, do you have tier 5s? Ugh. Worry not, we can go to other Trader Bob, who will also have tier 5s. Also, my Trader Joel's have tier 5s, I just don't want to do anything for them because I don't like them. Is there a bloody zombie in here? Get outside. How about it? Level 6? Oh, yes! Is it actually better? It is actually better. Right, so we're going to take all of this, and all of this, and that red die. And let's see what we can do with this level 6. So I want bipod, extended mag, cripplum, and reflex sight. There we go. Give that red. And then this one will just sit without a mod for a little bit. I'll find something in a POI we can put on it. Are you selling anything useful? Just something I can chuck on it? Where where do you keep your mods? No, you don't. Okay. And then we have a spare sniper rifle, which we'll just store, I guess. Okay, so let's go see other Bob and get tier 5s from him. What are you selling, Bob? Oh, a whole motorcycle. Maybe next time. Oh, tier 5. Travels, They're all Barbara. west or north. The west ones are going to be in the forest, and the north ones are going to be in the desert. So, what is the... Oh, the only north one is a tier 5 invested? I'm not doing that. I want to show off some tier 5s. So they're all going to be in the forest biome. Slightly unfortunate because the whole point of this was that they would be in the desert. And now they're going to be in the forest anyway. I could have just went to Trader Joel. I have wasted everybody's time. Nonetheless, we shall begin with... Navisgain County Jail. That is new. I've done it already though. <laughs> Alright, let's fly over then I guess. Now, I've done both of the prisons so I don't remember which one this is. But I know I survived both of them. With a bunch of other people, though. This will be my first time taking it on on my own. So, things I will need. Some vitamins, probably gonna get infected in here. Some spare bandages will never do you wrong. Frames, always good. Hunting knife can sit in the back there. Otherwise, be good. I could get this crossbow for stealth, but I have not put any points into that kind of thing yet, so... Oh yeah, this is the one with like the zombies just out the front, just willy-nilly. Isn't there some on this side as well? 
That's a feral white in the goddamn doorway. This is what we're dealing with. Yeah, this is doing me a little bit better in these short to medium range engagements compared to the scoped sniper rifle. That would be an absolute awful PY to accidentally stumble into an insane nightmare though, you just aren't paying attention, you just go, oh, what? Okay, there's like seven soldiers swarming me, great. Okay, first room cleared. We're basically halfway through it. Technical warfare. Oh, hey. Oh, really? You spawn them behind me? Outside? That is absolutely hack game design, fun pimps. Come on. Give me a break with that. I never noticed that before when we did it. It was very chaotic. As far as absolutely fuck you level design goes, and this game has a lot of it, that is some of the worst. If that was Insane Nightmare, you'd be dead. You'd have no choice in the matter. There'd be no skill to it. You would stand here, you would open a door, and there would be 50 zombies behind you running at nightmare speed. It's nonsense, I tells you, drone. Someone at the Fun Pimps was clearly very hurt when people said their game was easy, so they resorted to cheap game design tactics like spawning enemies outside randomly for no apparent reason. Were they on the roof? Maybe. Maybe we can clear them out of the roof. Still, it's a cheap death if you get someone with that. It's not going to be fun to die that way. There's just a guy walking around in there. He is not part of the POI. Are they not figuring out the stairs very easily? Okay. Seriously. I suppose the zombies press the button to open that door. And it's not just on some dumbass motion sensor, is it? Yeah, sure, fun pimp, sure. Just completely throw any sense of logic out of your world entirely in favour of trying to fuck over the players. It seems to be the whole theme of Alpha 21, actually. Hey, pre-built, you can play about the game. That's called criticism, it's what I'm here for. You want to go watch someone just fillet the fun pimps for releasing something then you can go and watch one of hundreds of other channels around here i comment when shit's fucking stupid howdy i wish i could shoot through that but my i don't have armor piercing rounds on me and i don't know how much health that thing has anyway all right well there's obviously going to be zombies in here but what silly trigger do i have to that's the silly trigger i have to activate Oh, the game behind me. How did you even get there? Well, I didn't want to fall down here. Ooh, <laughs> that was a glimpse of hell. Guess we're back out here again. Don't shoot my drone. Oh, really? More zombies behind me? Go away, nurse. I'm not even part of the POI. Well, that was a slight clusterfuck. Ooh, four grip mod. Nice. We can make one of those and actually make this rifle a little bit more, you know, what it was intended for. I also see a feral white I can kill, so... One thing I will say that's good about this POI, it's not really big, so there isn't a load of stupid laggy spots that just cannot even be looked at. Level 6 crossbow. <laughs> okay. It spawns zombies outside the POI to fight their way in. Why are you so weird? My spidey sense was tingling. Of course, they can always come from two angles. Nope. 
Not today, thank you. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into the PY here. And paint this door. Who else is running around? You stop, huh? No running in the holes. This is a prison. Level 5 Iron Spear and some water. <laughs> Plenty of 762 for me, at least. Anyone up here? Oh, hello. A vulture. A second vulture. A construction worker. Who has drank far too much monster energy? Relatable. I get that feeling again. Oh, hey. How did that dog even get up here? Of course the ceiling would break, why wouldn't it? But I don't trust this room. It has red barrels in it, that means they're planning something. Ah, missed the big keys. Well, well. Vultures. Oh, here's the final loot room and there's the trap. How do I do this in a way that isn't going to be inevitably gruesome and painful? Is there an alternative route? Does that have a door down here? Does this door take us in there? Because I would rather fight them throughout the POI rather than trying to do it the other way. I know how many feral whites spawn in it. I mean, look at the red. Does that tell you everything you need to know? It tells me everything I need to know. Light bomb time. Try and get it through. Perfect. They are on the move. Oh. Ooh, gotta run. Down the stairs we go. This is how it went last time as well. We're just gonna run all the way through the POI. And make them come to me. <laughs> and they're gonna do it in very creative ways, like spilling off the ceiling. Look at the frame rate with all those zombies. Oh, that's so many feral whites. Okay, there's still like a million red dots. Counter attack, counter attack, counter attack. Or more of them break out. Feral whites, is that one down there? Still very many. Honestly though, there are worse rooms in the game. Ah, clear. That wasn't so bad. Genuinely, like, the last room of Crackabout Cage 2 is worse than that, so, you know. If you were unprepared for that many feral whites though, and you didn't know the layout very well, I kind of Got the layout very quickly when I did this POI. I could see that being a real issue. <laughs> like a real issue of a POI. <laughs> like, it, you can see why I came down here to break that. Because if I had just fallen down there, you saw how many shots it took. I wouldn't have had time to kill them all. We play a little bit smarter than the fun pimps intend around here. They hate us for it. Okay. So here's, like, some of the tier 5 loot. we got another bipod. I'm just going to scrap that. I've got plenty of those. Uh, you get five crates in tier 5. Plus you get the end loot. Proper end loot, anyway. Electronics crates. I was gonna say, there's not a lot of good stuff that can spawn in these. A wheel. Revolutionary. Thank you for being a good backpack drone. Helping me hoard things I will never use, and I don't honestly feel all that good about picking up anyway. 
bench and a battery and another wheel. Right, let's get to the actual loot loot. To that thing there, the tier 5 reinforced chest. This one I'm just gonna bomb. I don't know how many you need, but I'm gonna go with like... 4. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, the loot is meh. Get hammered, spear hunter, and we got a food bundle, which did give us a bunch of spaghettis, which is, I think, the best food item in the game. There could be some debate with the gumbo stew as well. It offers different things. But this is pretty much tied with the gumbo stew for best in the game. And that's what we got for a tier 5. <laughs> I slaughtered millions to get some spaghetti. Welcome to Seven Days to Die. The game that encourages you to loot, and then makes looting the most unenjoyable and inefficient way to progress in the game. Oh, it's only been in development for 10 years, guys. Give them a chance. Come on. They're just a little indie dev team of 60 people who've had 10 years of working on this game, and apparently a combined, you know, centuries of AAA game development time, and they just, you know, they can't balance their fucking loot tables after 10 fucking years. Oh my god, with millions of players telling them that their game is poorly balanced and they still won't fucking fix it. God, I hate this game. Keep smiling. You say it in a positive tone, people won't notice that you're ragging on the game again. I also really love that they never fixed a bug where you sound like you're sprinting when you're flying or driving. I'm losing my mind. And of course, we're gonna get a level 1 nail gun for doing this. I mean spaghetti. That's what I did that for. I can make spaghetti. It's not difficult. Still, I think I prefer that tier 5 to like the classic tier 5s which destroy your frame rate and take 2 hours to complete. A little bit, you know, definitely a lesser of two evils there rather than the, oh that was so good, yay. Ugh. See why I didn't want to do these? I mean the XP's nice, but um, yeah this other shit sucks. Tremendously. I'll take the first aid kits. Do you have any other jobs? He's got a shotgun messiah factory. We will do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like my farm's done yet. Okay, well, it'll be done soon. No, it won't. Will it? When did I plant it? It was at the start of day 40. Okay, we'll have to wait until the start of day 42 to do that then. I can do some shenanigans in the meantime. What are my dude collectors doing? Not done yet. Mushrooms aren't done yet. Right, so what can I make food-wise? Because I've just realized I have a bunch of food items. And I have loads of canned food, as you can see. Uh, I've got loads of cornmeal, plenty of water. Let's do some cooking. Let's let's show how useless that tier 5 was by just cooking so much better stuff than it could have possibly given me. We can make arguably the best food in the game here, gumbo stew, and we can make eight of them. Start with that, and that'll take seven minutes. And then, in this next one, do some of my own spaghettis. I can make five. I am missing... Beef rations, yeah, that makes sense. And then let's also add in fish tacos. We could do some cornbread. Is that what you use to make chili dogs? Yeah, let's make perfect five chili dogs out of five cornbreads. What I've learned is I need to buy more peas when I'm playing this game because peas were the real shortcoming there. I could make superchargers for my things. Uh, let's see, ten forged steel pipes. Do I have any radiators left? I do. And mechanical parts. Let's just queue up two of those. They make you move, I think, 10% faster, basically. They give you 50 food, 30 health, 30 stamina. Pretty good for the ingredient cost, which is pretty minimal. I made a, a new food chest because I was bored of looking through all those things. Yeah, I need to start buying more canned food every single time I go to the trader then. Uh, okay, so chili dogs give you 50 the food and 30 health. Gumbo stew gives you 112, 56, and 20, and my spaghettis give me 120, 60, and 40. Okay. And then we'll see what the fish tacos give us. Do not remember. Ah, my two superchargers are done. Now, the difference on most vehicles is genuinely not going to be very noticeable, but it is there. It increases the maximum speed that you can go at. I think, anyway. Ah, looks like my farm is done. Or some of it's done. The corn's not done growing yet. That was planted later, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's popping now. We'll see it growing as we're talking. So let's start over here by the coffee. So the way the crops work is you can punch them or you can stab them. I prefer to stab because it's faster. 
that you can punch them. Oh, look, the magic of nature. You see, generally you'll get seven if you have all the ranks of living off the land like me. And here comes the difficult part. So we made a profit of 59 coffee beans there, which is pretty good. But we only got four of those seeds back, and you have a 50% chance of getting a seed back. So say I wanted to plant 10 coffee, and this is where the living off the land perk is like needed, because if you don't have it, you won't be able to sustainably farm off of the things you get and still make a profit of 29 coffee beans. Ah, my mushrooms are done growing. Need a little bit of clay to replant those, though. Four mushroom spores. Cool. Right, I've got my extra seeds there. Let's do the four. Have I got any extra potatoes I could maybe make a seed out of? Yeah, so I've got ten potato seeds. It's gonna take a while to get any profit on that. Oh, I'll plant my 35 corn seeds. spare yucca seed. Okay, so I've got some profit of corn here, and mushrooms, and coffee beans. We can make some good things out of that. There's like 64 chrysanthemum. Let's get some golden rod, which is a little bit rarer than chrysanthemum. There we go, and I got 51 of that. That'll do nicely. And I need cornmeal. Why can I not make cornmeal? Oh, you craft cornmeal, of course. Yeah, I need some of this. Let's make 100 cornmeal. Oh, that's gonna take a while. I think this is the first time I've ever actually crafted cornmeal. Usually find a load of it, but I've just not been gathering it. Yes, yes, I know, Glock 9, funny, funny, yes, 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 ha ha ha. Right, so the reason I was collecting all of that chrysanthemum and goldenrod was so that I could make something called pure mineral water. This is a very good drink I am. I am going to cook a bunch of that. It takes water, coal, goldenrod, and chrysanthemum. You unlock the recipe with Wasteland Treasures 4. And it's very good water. I'll show you that when it's done crafting. Now the major limiting factor here is how much water I actually have, so I don't want to turn it all into mineral water because I have other things. Let me get some more water. And I need, and I shit you not, gunpowder. <laughs> We're going to make blackstrap coffee which is like coffee but even better it, it gives you a stamina boost so let me make an awful lot of that One more water here it gives you a better stamina boost and of course it works like coffee so you'll get an ore boost for using it but it takes gunpowder to make so here's some mineral water it gives you 60 water 15 percent stamina regen cure dysentery 20 percent it's like golden rod and red tea mixed together basically and you get the efficient digestion effect which makes it so that you use less food, which is a very useful effect in itself. So, let me grab some of this cornmeal. Oh, water, yeah, duh. We can make some blueberry pie. And that's about it, because it's not the most useful item ever, this cornmeal. But we can make cornbread, which is again used in a lot, but it takes water, and I don't think it's worth it. So now if I want to make some cornbread... I certainly can. Pumpkin bread is pretty useless, but I'll make a couple of it just for the lols. But once we get potatoes, we can make meat stew, and it's just really good. If we get some more rotten flesh, we can also make um, hobo stew, which is another really, really good food item. Yeah, I thought I would just show you guys my food upgrades. So just before we end this episode, I would show you the coffee. It's got the same water benefits as coffee. It gives you cold resist, but it gives you 25% stamina regen, which is a little bit better than regular coffee. Anyway, I've planted my mushrooms and I think I'm going to end the episode here and we can do a tier 5 PY and Horde Night in the next episode. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.